So a subject that I love talking about is how to sell service design, how to get people excited about the passion that we have for making businesses more human. Um, and one of the things that I found is you have to uh, help people to understand what it is. You have to, for people, for a lot of people, for a lot of clients, service design is something new. It's something that they've never experienced before. They've heard about it, they've maybe seen it somewhere, but they've never actually gone through their uh, experience. So even though you're convinced that it works, for them, it's still a risk. It's an unknown. They don't know what it is. It, it, again, it's a risk for their budget, maybe for their career, for their company. So there are things at stake. And the, the question that is going through their head, am I willing to take this risk? Now, what our role is as service designers to help our clients take this step is think about how we can minimize this risk. What can we do to uh, lower the threshold, their perceived risk, and um, help our clients build confidence slowly. So, in another video, which I'll link to up here or up here, I talked about how service design needs to grow on you. And I think it's the same with trying to sell service design. So, the way to do that, for instance, could be by making it smaller, making uh, smaller experiments, giving um, uh, smaller tasks, smaller activities. For instance, um, a like the super simple classic example is the marshmallow challenge. Like if you want to explain prototyping, if you want to show the value of prototyping, um, you can do the marshmallow challenge. If you don't know what it is, uh, Google it right now. And uh, another thing would be like, okay, so you're not convinced that we're going to get value out of uh, field research, design research. Well, how about we just do it for a day and see what happens. Uh, make it smaller, make it more tangible, uh, minimize the risk, uh, think about experiments and understand that it's, even though you're convinced that it works, your client might not be and they need some time to, to build that confidence. That's, that's my take. That's what I've been trying to do. Um, in the other video, which I referenced to, uh, which is this one, I talk about how service design needs to grow on you, how you can help people around you, not only your clients, to understand service design in small steps and I think more successful steps. So check it out if you're interested in that.